Hi folks, welcome back to Metabox Tutorials. Today, I'll show you how to create an online reservation form using Metabox. It will include a field that allows calculating following a custom formula. This is an example for a restaurant reservation. Your clients can fill in some typical information for the booking. Choose the service or goods that they want to be served. And then, this field will let them know how it costs. It is automatically calculated based on the parameters that were filled in the previous fields. When someone fills out this form, it'll make a booking. And the information will be saved in a post of a custom post type named reservation like this. Let's go ahead to see how we can do it. These are some tools we need for this practice. First, we have the Metabox framework. It's available on WordPress.org. Moreover, we'll need some advanced features from Metabox extensions. You can download them individually or use Metabox all-in-one to have them all. Please make sure that you've already activated the following extensions. MB Custom Post Type is to create custom post types for the reservations. Next. MB Frontend Submission helps create forms for users to submit their orders from the frontend. And Metabox Builder, to has an intuitive UI to create custom fields in the backend to save the reservation information. Finally, we recommend you to use a new field type, named Math Operation, which is provided by a third party. Kevin, a user of Metabox, made it in July 2023 to help us save time of coding. Since without this field, you need to add some code to the theme files to have a field that can automatically calculate based on the values from other fields. But with this field, you should do nothing, just enter the formula, then it will do everything for you. To have that field, follow the GitHub links provided in this video caption and download these three files. Upload them into the corresponding JS and CSS folders. Go to the function PHP file. Add these lines of code. So, here we go. First, let's create a custom post type for the reservation. Go to the Metabox and create custom fields to save the reservation information. You can create the field as usual according to your requirement of the booking. I set the ID of this field as the post title to automatically save the customer name in the title of the post. Since this field will be displayed on a page on front end, you may want to style the field. So you can add a CSS class for the field. Just go to the Advanced tab in the Field Settings. Name a class here. If you want to show all the information of the user's order in the admin column for better management, simply turn on this option. Next, 
I need a field that allows customers to choose a set lunch, so I choose the select field type. In this choices section, we usually input the set lunch name only. But, I'll do a trick here. Instead of creating another field for price, I put the price as the value of the set lunch like this. These are the prices. And the label of each option will be the set lunch's name. Similar to the private room field, I also set the value as price. The last field, it'll be the one to calculate the amount. So, add a field in the type of math operation type. This field type is available on the list only when you install the files from GitHub as I mentioned. In this field, there will be two special settings. This is to identify the fields on which the calculation will be made. You should add the ID of all the fields into this box. And, this is to insert the formula. Pay attention that you must declare the field IDs corresponding to the field in the formula. That's done for this field. Thanks to this math operation field, there is no need to add code anymore. It will work later without any further action. After creating all the fields, go to the Settings tab, choose Location as Post Type, and select the reservation to apply these fields to it. Once you have published the field group, its ID will be generated automatically here. Just copy it since we'll use it in the next step. I'll use a page with the pre-built template which is quite simple to make a demo for this practice. This is the booking form. It's built from the custom fields which we have just created. Go to the meta box and create a new page. Choose a template for the page. Now, look for the submission form block provided by MB Frontend Submission to have the booking form. Once you select this block, it'll display the title and content fields by default. If you want to display the custom fields for the reservation form, add the ID of that field group in this box. Then you will see all the fields displayed. Select post type as reservation to stipulate that when the user enters data into the form, that data will be saved in the post of the reservation post type. In this practice, I'll not use the title and content field, so hide it by removing the options here. You also can change the label of the submit button. I have just deleted the title and content fields, but they're not leaving at all since I still keep their labels. Just delete them. Go to the page on front end, you will see fields displayed like this. Now I will use CSS to style this page. Pay attention that I added a class for each field when creating them. So, just use those classes. I put this code on GitHub so you can refer to it. Now let's test the form. Here you can see that the amount field automatically changes the number whenever you change the option on these fields. I see this field is working well. And now, go to the back end to see if the order is saved or not. You can see everything has been stored in a post already. That's the end of today's tutorial. If you want to learn more about how to play around with Metabox, please watch other tutorials on this channel. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to us for more tutorials. Bye.